guys. So this is a very impromptu video. That's why I look like this, really not done up. And I honestly, let's be real, I never really get myself ready for any of my videos. But anyway, this is an impromptu video that I'm gonna be doing about the lymphatic system and what I do to pump my lymphatic system and make sure that it's working good because the lymphatic system is something that does not pump itself and you've got to do the work to pump it. <laughs> So I thought of doing this video just as I was about to start my uh, lymphatic routine. And so I will just take you through that and show you basically how I do it. <laughs> so since there were screaming kids in the background, I will just be doing a voiceover for this part. And this is basically how I start every morning. I wash my face and then I put on this beauty serum. It's from Noon Juice, and I got it last summer when I was in California. So I put that on, let it dry, and then I put on some Living Libations oil. This one is the Everybody Loves the Sun uh, oil. And then what I do is I use this gua sha that I got from Amazon. It was only like $8 when I bought it. And I start this for my lymphatic routine because it helps to move the lymph in your face. Okay, so then what I do when I'm done working on my face doing the gua sha is I do a little bit of lymphatic massage. It's really simple, really only takes five minutes and it's a great way to pump your lymphatic system. So what I do is I start by massaging the lymph nodes behind my ears, um, on my neck and sort of under my chin. And I do that by taking my hands like this on either side of my head and just massaging a little bit and then pulling down very lightly on my neck. So I'll do that like five times. So then the next thing that I'll do is I'll massage on the top of my collarbone. And what I'll do is I'll start where these little points are right above that and sort of just pull lightly on the skin down towards the points and then I'll move along the collarbone out towards the shoulders and just lightly sort of press in. It doesn't have to be really hard. You just need to be gentle. Then what I'll do is I'll massage down my chest, um, down my rib cage. Bring the camera down a little bit. So then what I'll do next is I'll get under my armpits where there's a lot of lymph nodes and I'll massage like this on both sides. So you can do them at the same time or you can do them one at a time. And then what you do after that is you sort of cup your armpit like that and sort of pull up on the skin into the armpit to stimulate the lymphatic, the lymph nodes in there. And then I'll sort of do a swiping motion like that across my arm. Massage this side a little bit again. Pull up. And then the next part I do, I'm not gonna show on video, um, but it's a lot of fun. And basically this part, I just massage my boobs. It's really important to keep your breasts nice and clean and healthy. 
And this is really important to do because it helps you to avoid getting cysts in your boobs. And just like I said, it helps to move the lymph in your boobs and um, clear out any toxins that might be in the lymph. Yeah, sorry I'm not gonna show that right now on my video, I just don't feel comfortable doing that. But yeah, there's lots of other videos that you can find on YouTube that show you how to do that, so don't worry, you can definitely learn. And um, at the very least, just <laughs> massaging them really helps um, whether you use a certain technique or not. The other things that I like to do to stimulate my lymphatic system are some deep breathing and also massaging right at the groin. So in the mornings before I go to do anything else, I'll take about six deep breaths while standing here, and then I will massage the inside of my groin. So I'll just show you how I do that next. Okay, so then the next thing that I do is I do some dry brushing. So the way that I learned to do dry brushing is you want to start at your feet and work your way up your body and always do sweeping motions towards your heart. Then usually what most people suggest when you're done dry brushing is to go take a shower. So sometimes I will go do that, but to be honest, personally, I don't always do that. Sometimes I wanna get some extra lymphatic pumping into my day, so what I do next is I go and rebound. So if you're wondering what a rebounder is, basically it's just a mini trampoline. Even big trampolines will do the same thing. And what I'll do is I'll jump on this, for anywhere from 15, even 10, to all the way up to like 30 minutes. If I have the time, what I'll do is I'll put on like a show or a YouTube video that I enjoy watching and I'll just jump on the rebounder um, for however long the video is. Some days when I have more energy, I feel like going really hard and jumping a lot. Other days when I don't have a lot of energy, I'll just jump very lightly and I'll barely have my feet even come off of the rebounder. Either way that you do it, it's going to pump your lymphatic system and it's a great way to help cleanse your lymph. So then by the time that I'm done on the rebounder, I will usually have built up a little bit of sweat and then what I'll go and do is I'll take a shower. And when you're in the shower, another thing that you can do to help your lymphatic system as well as your kidneys is you can move the shower temperature from hot to cold a couple of times. So that's something new that I've been trying as well and maybe it's something that you guys can try too. So those are the things that I do on a regular basis to help pump my lymphatic system. Um, but before we wrap up this video, I just wanted to talk about a couple of other things that are important to do on a daily basis to support your lymphatic system. The first one is being making sure to drink enough water. Water really helps to flush toxins out of your system and in order to do that, it's really important to make sure that your lymphatic system is well hydrated. 
Second, you can also just do regular exercise um, like yoga or walking or some gentle running and stuff like that. That will definitely get your lymphatic system to pump. The third thing is also eating a diet that is healthy, high in fruits and vegetables. It's important also to eliminate certain foods that are known to clog the lymphatic system, things that are really high in fat, um, dairy products, also eggs, gluten, corn, soy, um, and you wanna avoid those things for other reasons as well. But yeah, mostly it's important to stay away from mucus forming foods like dairy, like I mentioned, or eggs, and also really fatty foods. Another thing is also foam rolling. So if you're a fan of foam rolling, that is another great way to get your lymphatic system to pump. It's especially a great way to stimulate the lymphatic points that are on your back. So if you have trouble getting those areas, like in particular with the dry brush, um, foam rolling on your back will be a great way to stimulate those points as well as other points throughout your body. And the last thing that I'll mention today is even just going to get a massage um, from a massage therapist is another fantastic way to get your lymphatic system to pump. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and um, let me know what other kinds of videos you guys would like to see in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!